Gold traded in range again and as we expected it to trade bullish, it has again achieved 1824 levels though slightly, just slightly lower from the previous week's high. At the same time on the downside 1784 gave it a very strong support as I have told you several times till 1740 I will consider or I will remain bullish in gold. So now what to expect next week? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon which will keep you updated with the daily analysis and targets which I share for gold. In fact, twice a day I share those. Once with the Asia session, next with the US cash session. Do watch that also. Also towards the end of this analysis, I will give you the trading levels and strategy for next week. Do watch till the end. Let's start. See, first let's observe the bottom. See these three lines very well aligned. The previous low, if you look at 1774, here, then 1780, 1770 levels, and then 1784. So, almost very well aligned bottoms out there. Now, if you look at these two lower highs, so it is precisely in consolidation phase. And if you connect the dots here, now look at this. If you connect the dots more in detail, First thing is, this is the lower channel. Second is, this is trying to trade in this bullish channel. Now, this time it failed to go past the highs. It means there is still a opportunity for it to trade bullish and only and only if it breaks past 1825. See, I had set a long term target for gold at around 1836 at 1850 zone. Till the time it trades above 1740, these targets are achievable. But right now it appears 1825 levels giving it a very strong resistance. So, I'll wait for it to break past those zones in order to show the bullish momentum. Now look at the charts here. Let's say the candle opens here and once again it trades above 1801. Last time also it was the same level. Again I am telling you the same. If you see it trading above 1801 next week, you can buy definitely. And again I am saying I am expecting similar size of candle. This candle should replicate. This means that we can expect almost $30 of move here. So in fact, this is almost close to $35, $40 of move you can say. So yes, if it trades above 1801, then my target of 1836, 1850 zone certainly will get achieved. And this type of candle I will be expecting as it has consolidated here strongly. But then if it trades above 1801, you have to wait for it to break past 1824 zone 1825 zone because beyond that certainly almost 10 to 20 dollars of move still will be there which might take it for 1836 1845 and 1850 levels this is one observation now second observation here is any point of time see this two candles having a flat opening there and flat closing there it means that 1794 levels are certainly first support level and if it breaks below 1790 next week, see this, if it breaks below 1790, then 1787 and then 1784, this zone if it breaks, you can stay short and then there will be a sharp red candle. So this is what we can infer from the candles here that if it breaks below 1784 levels, certainly there could be more drop which might take it for 1774, 1770 and in fact, it can go till towards 1760 and 40 levels which is going to be the maximum support zone for gold. So once again I am reiterating it. If you see it trading below the zone at 1784, you can expect little more drop. First 1780 then 1774 then 1765 and below that you can expect a sharper drop which it may try to cover up till towards 1760 and 40. Now this is see this is just on the candlestick charts. Also look at this it has formed a triple bottom here. After forming the triple bottom for multiple weeks gold was trading in this bearish channel. It has retraced nicely and now yet again it is looking forward to a breakout which might take gold till towards this zone that is 1880 1900 this is quite possible it can jump in three days four days also but then you, it has to break past the first resistance zone at 1836 1850 if it breaks past this sustains this certainly more bullish momentum can be expected at the same time now this is just on the weekly charts let's have a look at the daily chart on the daily charts higher lows 
and see the highs there you can see that the highs are diminishing here and the bullishness is diminishing here this is also kind of a squeeze here and if you connect this this is kind of a flag here but then it has to give a breakout certainly first thing that it is trying to squeeze here and once it gives the breakout that is going to be a sharp sharp momentum which might take it further highs that is first observation second observation here is we'll come to the indicators but this is also 20 period moving average line which is giving it a very strong support and hence for next week also as i said 1784 1780 zone certainly this zone and in fact till on the downside these levels which are a very very strong support level only and only below which you can expect that gold might show 1720 1700 and in fact below that 1680 1660 levels to be seen that is one part to it but since it has formed a triple bottom there we can expect the rally to sustain a bit and hence i will be mostly looking for a positive breakout that is one part to it now let's have a look at the monthly the monthly candle is in green it is not trying to show the bullish strength here but let's have a look at the previous candle the previous candle almost from 1640 to you can see 1760 levels and this counts for 1770 levels this counts for almost 120 130 dollars of move and this time it is trying to trade bullish from 1760 1770 zone possibility exists that at least this must show 17 30s 1836 1850 zone but let's have a bit observant because see it is right now not showing any strength since last three weeks since this month throughout this month gold has not shown any strength the previous strength is only is what it is carrying forward to however it has achieved 1824 36 in this week there is a possibility that it may try to break past 1850 levels so uh, this is just the bull in me is trying to sound However, once it trades below 1760, 1750 zone, it can bring the bears also. You have to be cautious here. It can bring the bears also if it trades below 1760, 1740 zone. That is the next part to it. Now, let's have a look with the help of indicators indicators on the daily charts i have told you several time in my daily analysis it is trying to take the support from the 20 period moving average which is giving it a very very strong support at the same time see look at the bollinger bands this is getting narrowed there should be a strong move either up on the upside on the downside so that the width of the bollinger bands can get expanded else it will continue to trade in this narrow zone also look at the crossover between the 50 and 100 period moving average this is appear to be a bullish move and this is continuing to be divergent here the MACD has crossed over this is uh, the directional movement has crossed over this is on the sell side right now the stock is stick looking downwards here showing little loss of strength the MACD see the MACD crossover here is on the sell side it is trading on the sell side here it is looking downwards sloping downwards and this crossover is happening at a high so possibility is there that it may either sideways movement or bearish movement so only this is where we are uh, getting a little bearish sign from the MACD perspective where it is showing that probability of a little downtrend exists in gold RSI trading comfortable levels now look at the weekly chart on the weekly chart the 50 and 100 period moving average coming as a stronger resistance zone it has to surpass it has to sustain above these levels in order to or it has to close above these levels on the weekly charts in order to sustain the bullish momentum i will be observant this week how it behaves also on the downside the support is there at around 17 60 17 70 levels the directional movement moderately bullish the stochastic on the weekly charts is overbought that is one observation that it is overbought and it is looking downwards we have to be observant here the MACD however here is divergent and bullish and see it has achieved the peak probably from here it should try to converge a bit and this is again on the MACD we are getting a bearish sign that probability of it to drop a little like this is these are contradictory indications from the content uh, from the candles and the indicators here we have will consolidate it RSI is trading flat and let's have a look at the daily charts sorry on the monthly charts on the monthly chart the 20 months average for gold is 8 1800 it has to certainly sustain these levels for it to trade bullish that is one part to it the crossover here on the buy side is happening and see it traded bullish throughout long now after for last couple of months it traded in the sell side now again it has crossed over for a buy also look at the stock which was oversold on the monthly charts is now looking upwards showing strength 
and the MACD here on the monthly charts has seen the highs now looking forward to converge and cross over and again resume the bullish run. I will wait for this monthly closer, this candle closer, where it closes and how it shapes up. If it brings this to more proximate for a crossover, certainly in the coming few months, gold can sustain the bullish move. RSI trading flat here. So we have seen the charts, we have seen the indicators, time for us to define the trading levels and strategy for next week. And before I give you the levels, yes, if you want to learn this art of trading profitably, you should join my mentorship batch. The 18th batch, the first batch of year 2023, going to start on 9th of January. Be a part of it. Do not miss the opportunity to acquire, to equip yourself with the right tools, right indicators and right strategies, which, which will help you become a profitable and proficient trader, which will help you identify the profitable and proficient trades and definitely will boost your confidence. Reach out to me for more details, my telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Now on the upside, once again, I'll, I will recommend you to buy here at 18.01 and as I say, next target 18.05, 18.08. See, it has to come past this zone till 18.24. These levels are nothing new for you. These levels are nothing uh, you can you, you can say these levels I am repeating it again and again on the weekly basis and some of the levels 1824 see if you recall last week last to last week's analysis also daily analysis I have told several times 1824 is going to be a very good resistance and see it has achieved this because beyond this certainly I will be looking forward to 1836 1845 and 1850 levels yes I will be still looking forward to these levels at least for once even if it tries to trade bearish there is a possibility that it can try to uh, achieve these levels before looking forward to a drop now on the downside where you you should take a sell entry i will recommend you to sell at 1790 levels below which see 1784 1780 now only and only if it breaks below 1780 we can expect that there could be little more drop which might take it to towards 17 74 1765 then 1760 50 and 40 below that consider gold as bearish it is going to crash if it continues to trade below 1740 furthermore more bearishness in the coming days coming weeks or coming months can be expected now this is one part to it now why these levels are important and how should you should benefit from these levels remember there are resistances and supports for everything and achieving one level it can again see 1824 i had told several times in the previous weeks though was expecting it to trade beyond but 1824 suddenly appeared to be a very strong resistance since last two weeks it has been it has tried to breach it a couple of times but failed to do so and these levels are nothing uh, new for you all because you have been listening to this levels again and again so these levels are important because see it may show you a swing and there is a possibility because this is an entire week it can go on the buy level it can again come back to the sell level let's say if it triggers an 1801 buy you should close it here wait for it if it sustains either shift your stop loss to this level trade with this if it closes again re-enter if it you see in same direction else if you see it reversing there is a possibility that it can give you good swing itself it can come to 1790 immediately then first thing is if you are trailing your stop loss your first trade will close in profit now if it comes to 1790 wait for it to break past this take a sell entry here wait for 1784 if it fails and yes till here till this within these zone you have to trail your stop loss such that in case of a reversal your trade is closes in profit remember this is an entire week nobody can say that it, this is going to go in one single direction it can swing 10 times before taking a direction and hence you have to trail your stop loss you have to take your positions accordingly trade accordingly trade profitably trade with a stop loss thank you very much have a great profitable trading week ahead thank you